Hi everybody, my name is Sarah. I'm the Real Simple Mama and I have a backyard chicken flock right now of only two hens. And so I thought I would do a video I'm going to hit record to just kind of talk to you for a little while about if you were just gonna knock it down to the bare bones, the very simplest basic, what do I actually need in order to have chickens? Let's talk. Welcome back. The girls are mad. It's been raining all day again. I'm so sorry for everybody who's been affected by the hurricane going on right now. Um, on this video, I'm not trying to sell you anything. Um, and I'll do a video soon about affiliate links, but if there's links to products down in the video description, you don't pay any extra money. But I'm not making this video to try to sell stuff. I think if you've watched the most recent content, and I'll link the frustrating video here, I lost my third to last chicken named Gracie. She was a senior hen, an amazing bird, just a sweetheart. And I was feeling really frustrated and kind of like, okay, for the foreseeable future or the recent future, what is my plan with chickens? Um, and so in thinking about that, I kind of wanted to knock it down for you into like, this is the stuff that you really, really need if you're gonna have chickens. So you're welcome to send this video to people who are thinking about getting backyard birds, or you know they're thinking about buying property or whatever the case may be. This is just my opinion. I'm not a medical professional, and this is not like the only right way to do things, but I've been a chicken tender for a really long time, and I've always had suburban flocks, so this is what I think. So um, the balance that I'm going for here and I'm gonna to try to not get into teacher mode too bad. But the balance that I'm going for here is, what do you need to keep your chickens alive? Like, I care about these birds, they're an investment, they're part of the family to an extent. I don't wanna just buy chickens and throw some food on the ground and be like, all right, good luck, peace out, I'll see you in a month. Um, if you're going to have chickens, at least in my opinion, if you're on YouTube looking at chicken videos, <laughs> then you probably care about the quality of life of your birds at least a little bit, right? I mean, if nothing else, they're providing meat or eggs or even just like family pet enjoyment to you and your family. But I know a lot of the chicken websites, the the popular chicken people on YouTube, and I like a lot of them. Like I like the chicken chick. There's there's quite a few, you know, um, um, you know, Chicken Topia or whatever her name is. There's other people that I appreciate. So I'm not trying to sell you anything, but this is kind of what I think is like the bare minimum of what you need for a flock. Um, first of all, I would say you need at least two chickens. I would never choose to have just two chickens. That's just me. Chickens are flock animals. They're not designed to be alone. Um, and it sounds silly, maybe, but chickens can get depressed. It does affect their physical health, just like us. Um, we need social interaction. We need to be around others. It also, like, they help each other kind of look out for predators. Like, hey, you eat or take a dust bath and I'll kind of stand watch. You don't need a rooster. For you need to have, in my opinion, at least two chickens, and they need to be roughly the same size when you combine them. Now, there are people who can combine different breeds, some that are like miniature, like if you think of like dogs, like miniature, like toy breeds, those are called bantams. They're really, really small. They're like the third of a size of a regular chicken. Um, and that's Lacey right in front of you. Um, this is her breed video, if you'd like to see about her. She's a heavier meat breed. I wouldn't recommend them for the lower states where it gets really hot. Um, but I wouldn't have a whole bunch of big, heavy meat birds mixed with a bunch of bantams just because it can cause more behavior problems. So that's the first bare minimum thing is you need to have at least two chickens. Okay, then just like us, if you were playing like a survival video game or something to that extent, we're gonna follow them around. Come with me on this journey of weeds and humidity. Um, the next thing that I would suggest is I think you need some sort of shelter for your chickens. Now, again, I'm not trying to make you spend a whole bunch of money. Um, this is the coop that I have. I did pay full price for it. It is the Rugged Ranch is the brand. That model is the Omaha. Now, don't judge the, the brand based on what mine looks like right now. Mine is literally four and a half years old. But you can get coop kits. You can use upcycled sheds. You can build something out of like pallets you find on the side of the road. It doesn't have to be a new construction, like new building. Um, if you're on Facebook, you can use Facebook Marketplace or look for chicken groups and see if somebody's got something that's used. Um, or you can build your own, but they do need a shelter. And they need the shelter for two main reasons. The first is that the hens have a safe place where they can go lay eggs. They want privacy, kind of like you when you're going to use the restroom. I'm assuming you probably want privacy. <laughs> and if you don't, I don't want to hear about it. Um, but you need a safe place to go lay eggs. Chickens feel exposed. They feel vulnerable when they're laying eggs. So they don't want to be like, you know, doing their business and a predator swoops, you know, at them. So they want a safe, secluded, private space. And then obviously for your chickens to go up and roost at night. Chickens are, again, they are a flock bird, right? They are a prey. So they are used to, you know, everything that they do is hardwired to be like, don't get eaten. 
don't get eaten. Um, and so they do not want to sleep on the ground. So they need a predator safe place where they can get up off the ground at night. And your chickens, once you train them, they will go up there like clockwork once it gets dark every night. Um, and then they will stay up there and then you can unlock it in the morning. Now, I'm not gonna go into you know, coop doors and automatic this and automatic that. That's all extra stuff you can get if you want. You're certainly welcome to hit search up here in my YouTube channel and look around at what I use, um, but you don't need all of that. What I would say that you need is, you know, a coop or a building that you can secure and lock up and you wanna lock them up at night and just use the sun as your guide. Um, but the cloth that you see here, it's not cloth, it's called that. This is rabbit wire, for example. See how big those holes are? Raccoons, possums, snakes, all kinds of stuff could get in through there. So you don't want to use that on your coop. You want to use this stuff. This is called hardware cloth. And mine is old and like gross looking, but see how small that hole is? Nothing can get through there except for like a baby snake, for example. And guess what? Your chickens will eat it. Um, so this coop is locked down at night. You can see I've done a ton of predator proofing so things can't dig in or fly in or climb in or crawl through or whatever. Okay, the other things that you need to think about um, if you're continuing this conversation with talking as far as like predator proofing, keeping your birds safe. I mean, if nothing else, they're an investment. You know, your kids love them or they're a family pet or whatever. You don't want to spend all that time and money and energy setting up stuff for the chickens. And then you're ringing a dinner, dinner bell that it's like, you know, a free buffet for all the local hawks. Um, so you should have an investment where you're trying to keep them safe. Um, so with that being said, your chickens need to have some kind of yard space. Um, it's commonly called a chicken run. That's what I call it for me or a chicken yard. Um, because if I turn around slowly, that coop space down there on the first floor, that is not enough space for two chickens or really even one to live full time. Does that make sense? In that coop building, if they stayed in that 24 seven, that is not okay. That is not enough room for an animal who goes around and forages and your chickens will forage for all kinds of stuff. Yes, they eat small rocks or pebbles called grit. Yes, they will eat meat. They eat bugs, they eat plant matter, they eat seeds, they eat fruit and vegetables and all kinds of stuff. Um, but your chickens are honestly, they're opportunistic omnivores, like they'll eat anything. And they're insectivores too, right? Cause they'll eat bugs. So they need to be able to forage and dig around and preen and dust bathe and do all of that stuff but any space that you're gonna put them in needs to be secure, so keep that in mind. And again, if you want, this is just like a quick and dirty list of things that I think you need. If you want more details, start searching for the videos because I've got hundreds of videos here about chickens, about predators and stuff like that. And I am a teacher, so I repeat myself and I review and I teach you vocab words, <laughs> but I'm not here to try to sell you anything. Um, then let's talk real quickly about food and water. Your chickens need access to clean, fresh water 24 seven period. Um, yes, your chickens won't normally get up in the middle of the night and ask for a cup of water. But I mean, I guess if you really wanted to like dump out the water every night and bring fresh water in the morning, you could do that. Um, there are, let's see, it's the easiest way to show you. There are, I just call them waterers or water buckets or poultry buckets, you know, things like that. Don't worry about this water. This is dirty rainwater, but their clean water is over there in that waterer right there. You are going to want to keep it free of algae. Um, there are water additives and other more complicated things that you can talk about. Um, but they need access to clean, fresh water all the time. Um, it needs to be something that they can't poop in it. They can't knock it over um, because your chicken, uh, best case scenario, they'll stop laying eggs if they get dehydrated. Worst case scenario, you have dead chickens. Um, and then for food, the simplest thing, again, going down to the bare necessities, just buy a ready-to-go chicken feed. Um, if you've got baby chicks, there is starter feed or a chick grower. So you do starter first, which is like baby food or, you know, formula or milk. Um, and then the chick grower is like toddler food, if you want to think about it that way. Once you've got full-grown hens, they need layer feed. Um, like, you know, I am an egg layer and that has everything that they need. You don't have to give them anything else ever. And I've got tons of videos here because I love giving my chickens a varied diet, all different kinds of greens and fruits and proteins and all kinds of stuff like that. But your chickens can lay eggs and do everything that they need to do just with that layer feed. Um, I, I'm not, this is not, again, I'm not trying to sell you anything, but I use Chewy. Um, I pay for them. I'm they're, They don't like pay me to say anything. It'd be great if they want to start. So, Hey, Chewy, listen up. Um, but I get my chicken food in 25 pound bags delivered to my house. Um, I also get a discount because it's on an auto ship. So that way um, I'm saving a little bit of money and I don't have to drive out to places. Um, but again, you just want them to have a quality chicken food. Um, be careful that you have it locked up in a way as I pan back around, have it locked up in a way that 
you're not feeding the local rats and mice and wild birds and everything else. It's just for the chickens. So my food is locked up in there. Whenever my chickens are locked up, nobody has access. Um, but that is what I think is the bare necessities. Just like us, if we were dumped out, like, you know, those survival shows, dumped out in the middle of nowhere, your first three concerns, and I would say in this order, is either water first or shelter first, right? So shelter which is predator proofing, right? Protection from something that wants to eat me, water and food. Those are the three most important things. You can get into medications and vaccinations for your chickens. Again, you can get into a ton of other stuff, but that is the, those are the things that you really, really need. And the last thing that I'm going to say, and you're going to be like, oh, <laughs> but the last thing that's kind of like, I don't know, it's kind of a I'm sorry, it feels kind of shady saying it, but the last thing, and I've said it before, you need to be out with your chickens on a regular basis. They need your time. They need your love and your attention. Now, if you're not going to want to go out and cuddle your chickens for six hours a day, that's fine. But at the same time, I you know, implore you, please don't get a whole bunch of chickens and dump them outside and assume they're going to be fine and kind of say, peace out, I'll see you in a week. You really need to be out there watching them. First of all, um, I, like I've done videos on like, oh crap, I can see that the rats are trying to dig into this chicken coop. So now I need to do something to, you know, fortify it. So I'm not feeding the local rat nest. Um, on the flip side, you can be like, oh, I see there was a predator who tried to dig under here. I need to reinforce this because again, like to me, especially Especially if you're on YouTube, I see you, you're on YouTube looking up chicken videos. You probably care about your birds at least a little bit. I mean, if nothing else, if you haven't like, you know, cuddled with them and given them all names and stuff like that, I mean, you're at least like they're an investment, right? Like there's something for your family or for your livelihood, right, Lice? So pretty, honey. Um, so, I mean, I would think that you don't want to like waste all of your money and just feed the local coyotes or whatever. So just keep that in mind. Um, that you need to be out with your chickens on a regular basis. Um, so again, shelter, water, and food. Those are the three main things that you need. Um, I'm here for you. Um, I can always give you suggestions the best that I can um, and help with advice and stuff like that. The community of people who chime in on the comments here on Real Simple Mama are usually wonderful and helpful and selfless and informed and all kinds of different experiences from all over the world. And the people who are not nice... <laughs> <laughs> they get deleted and blocked. So, you know, either way. Um, but let me know what you think about this. If you're just getting started with chickens, just know chicken math is a real thing where you think you're just going to have two and then you end up with 27 and now you have 100 and you had to sell your house and like, uh, you know, because you need room for more chickens. But they are absolutely wonderful. They all have their own um, personalities and attitudes and they are just so endearing you will truly fall in love with them and i am here to help you on your chicken tender journey so let me know what you guys think i hope you're all doing well talk to you soon